Hello, this is the second part of Unity third person shooter. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna start uh, moving the player. So I'm gonna create a new script. So, uh, let me define the variable first. So if you remember uh, in the previous video in the player camera we created a temporary boolean for aiming. Well right now we've created the actual aiming variable here so we don't need this anymore. So we could just go ahead and to the player camera and delete that and instead of this guy uh, we're gonna get a reference to the player locomotion and use that for our aiming reference I'm just gonna get the component first I'm using control C and control V to copy and paste dot aiming so that's that uh, well the move tape here uh, we're gonna do something similar to distance here I'm just gonna create a public Go and create our awake function uh, and start initializing and getting the components that we need. Here we just need to get the player camera and uh, player input. Now we're going to do our update function.
so we created the functions for uh, rotation and movement of the character while it's not aiming it's in the normal mode and it's not aiming uh, so let's see what's the result of running this code is okay i'm getting an exception error ah i forgot to assign the player locomotion to the player so now i can move around depending on where the camera is looking so when i am not moving i can easily rotate around and when i'm moving by rotating the camera character will also uh, rotates this is a good result so uh, let's give it some animation and see what's gonna happen so uh, I'm gonna create a folder here name it animation I'm gonna drag and drop the clips the clips uh, and here I'm gonna create a mask for later right now I need an animator controller let's open it up so I'm gonna create the parameters we need Now let's create the states for our animator controller. Uh, I'll start with uh, a sub state mach machine. It's gonna be our default. Uh, I'm gonna open this up and let's do idle so the idle would be I'm gonna go to the clips standing idle this is our idle I'm gonna assign it uh, we've got three more walk run and a sprint of course walk it's gonna have this animation this is gonna be run or jog you can say uh, the run is our default movement when we we're not holding the shift key for a sprint or v key i think we defined v key for walk for when we're not holding the v key for walk then default is on the running or jogging this is our default so now we need to give them transitions simply we say if the walk is true go there if the run is true do this 
and if the sprint is true where is it here it is do that and when we bring them back uh when all three is false it's the time that we need to transition back to idle when walk sprint and run all three of are false then we go back i forgot to check don't forget to uncheck this i'm also gonna uh put the download link for this animator controller for you so you don't have to go through all this if you don't wanna so uh the transition back when all three is false then we go back to idle okay we also need to do a transition between these three so when we're walking if run becomes true we go running if we're walking and sprint is become true then we go to sprint where is it sprint the same thing here if we're running and walk becomes true we're gonna go for walk if we're running and sprint becomes true we go sprint and if we are sprint run becomes true we run and the same thing between a sprint and walk let me check if everything seems to be good okay so this is for standing I'm gonna name this standing uh, normal we got standing and crouched we need we also have normal and aimed so this is for standing normal I'm gonna create another state machine name this crouched normal so I'm gonna open this up this has an empty which is the idle and it has a walk we don't have running and sprinting in the walk mode in in the crouch mode but we could have it I we could have it maybe I add it later but right now let's go for only walk uh, so let's go to the crouch we got idle crouch I'm gonna assign that we got walk crouch uh, I didn't had the time to export the animation for crouch run and uh, maybe I do it later but for now let's just stick with this uh, so we say if you're in the idle and walks becomes true you go for it we also make two more transitions if runs becomes true you still go for it and if the sprint becomes true you also go for it 
and it transition back when all three are false where is it walk is false run is false and the sprint is false you you go back to idle okay this is looks good so we need to trans do a transition between these two so when we press c it goes to crouch and when we press c again it comes back we need to create two transitions this is from normal to a crouch uh, which is i think i have it right here a standing to crouch st to cr and here it is a uh, crouch to standing should be here let's say instead of normal say stand thing because normal and aimed are the opposite of each other I'm also gonna give a tag to these two name tag them trend session I'm gonna use this later so don't forget to do this transition I'm gonna give them this tag to understand to detect when the player is crouching or standing in the transition of that now let's do the transition between these fellas so When you're running, sprinting, standing to crouch, when you're running, standing to crouch, walking, standing to crouch, and also for the idle, you do this. And here, uh, the condition for this is when the crouch gets true. When the crouch it's true the same here the same here here we go so when we when the crouch gets true we're gonna go there and we make a transition here to the idle if the aimed is false if aimed is true we transition we do a transition to to crouch aimed which i'm gonna create in the next part of uh, this tutorial for now we're just gonna do normal the same thing and one thing i forgot to say don't uncheck this make sure it's checked because you want to transition to crouch normal with exit time of this transition so uh the same thing goes here if we're gonna do crouch to a standing where is it crouch to a standing if crouch gets false crouch gets false and uncheck these guys and we do a transition to idle if aimed is false so that's that for the crouch and normal while you're in the standing or when you're not aiming so before we continue to populate these variables the animator variable the, the animator parameters uh, I need to create a tool, a tool a script that helps us detect how much player moved. You know, for example, when we, when the player moves around, 
we need to get how much it moved and in which direction it moved uh, so for that I'm gonna create a script called a uh, movement calculator I'm gonna do this my way uh, I actually didn't have time to think about it a lot so it's a little bit messy but if you had a bit if you have a better suggestion please let me know uh, send me an email or let me know in the comments if your way is actually better I'm gonna do that but for now let's I'm just gonna stick with this it's a method I uh, actually works fine for, for me and let's do it So uh, what this script is doing is calculating the amount of the movement player uh, does. 
as I said, uh, I really didn't have time to think about it. I just hard coded a lot of things. And if you have a better suggestion, I'm open to hear, hear it. But for now, this is working pretty good for me. I'm just going to attach movement calculator to player. And uh, that's just good enough for me for now. So let's do the animations. I'm going to create another script called a player animation. And this helps me to animate my character. So uh, let's start. So uh, I've created the variables and got the components. So right now I'm going to create a function that uh, casts a ray from the center of the camera uh, into a specific distance, which is the range of our weapons uh, or the range of uh, range of our view and if it hits anything in its way that's the point that we're aiming at Now uh, everything is done and we're ready to populate our animator parameters because we also we have this and we also have the movement calculator which are gonna provide the necessary data for us to detect how much the player moves and also where we're aiming at. So uh, Target point is the point uh, that we're aiming at. Right now, because we don't have a weapon, I'm just going to set this to 50. So uh, in every frame, before we do anything, uh, we're, do we're running this function. It's going to cast a ray from the center of a screen. Uh, towards its forward and if it hits anything it returns the point that it hit if it didn't it returns the point that are 50 units away from the pivot 
in the forward direction of the camera uh, which is gonna be the point we're looking at if we're having a weapon will will be the point we're aiming at so let's populate the animator with this uh, values So we're done. Uh, if you remember, we're well. This first three is are are obvious. We don't have to explain those. It's crouched. It's aimed. It's grounded. It's gonna get it from the pl player locomotion, and it's gonna update the animator. These two we're not gonna use for now, but just as uh, just know that this is the amount of. Uh, units that this is amount of movement that player has done on z and x axis uh, but for this one we have three variables that here they are walk run and sprint which if you remember we did the transitions we use these variables uh, to uh, do the transition between our animation states so what this does it's come and checks the player locomotion move type this variable let's go to the definition here it is uh, if movement is less than that it returns zero which means you're in the idle mode otherwise it returns the move type which if you remember uh here it is if you are not jumping if you are grounded and if you're not jumping and if you're not aiming okay if the player input sprint at the default as i said we're doing running running move type is two if move type is two then you're running run is true the other two are false if uh, the, the left shift key is pressed which means in the player input sprint will become true then speed will be a sprint speed and move type will be three three is for sprint two is for run and one is for walking zero is for idle of course uh, and depending on the move type we're coming here and saying which of these three parameters will be true and the other two would be false if it's zero or default as i say we don't have a zero here so default will be called anytime it's zero uh, then we we put all of the three uh, false uh also if it's crouched we're just gonna do crouch speed because if the crouch is through the transition's gonna happen to this is the transitions crouch is true crouch is true true a transition will happen to crouch normal okay so that takes care of that 
uh, now I'm gonna attach the player animation to our player it's a prefab let's just create a folder called prefabs I'm just gonna drag this here okay and I'm gonna add the I'm gonna open the prefab double click on it uh, or hit this little arrow I'm gonna add it right now here it is okay so uh, ready to move and target these two variables doesn't have to be visible in the inspector system that non-serialized would do the trick for us or you could use hide in inspector I also don't need these three to be visible in our player locomotion you don't have to see them I always uh, hide the variables I don't need so uh, it would be cleaner in the inspector uh, here is the other one I should have used system it would have saved me a lot of pain yeah let's just say using system Here we go. Let's go and see the results. Okay. Now I'm gonna play it, see what's what. Okay, uh, I forgot to assign an animator to our player. I'm just gonna do it here, animator you don't ha you shouldn't apply root motion so here in the animation i'm going to assign it right over here uh, i also need to assign the avatar okay i think this is this is the one Okay, let's play it now. Now we're gonna move around easy. I'm gonna hit C and yep. Okay, as you see, we have this little problem. It moves even when we're, we're in the transition. If you remember, I told you to uh, write the tag of transition for these two transition so we say if uh, where is it uh, ready to move I've already defined the function here uh, I'm gonna say if actually we don't need if we just say ready to move is equals to animator dot get current current animator state info for the layer zero this is the zero layer where is it dot is tag terrain position okay so if it's tagged transition 
then we're not ready to move so I'm gonna do that so otherwise it's ready to move Let's see if it's being referenced somewhere no so we can do then we're gonna come over here to here and I'm gonna say this if player animation we don't have one here so I'm gonna create one player animation if it's not ready to move then just go ahead and if player animation that ready to move is false then these two variables should be zero don't allow it to move equals to zero horizontal equals to zero okay oh, I also need to get the components so here we go now let's test it see if it's working or not okay so it waits for it to do the transition then it moves instead of moving while in transition okay so this is shift i'm holding shift right now it's running it's working good i'm holding v it's walking it's really good system i really like it and it doesn't go through the walls okay so i think i'm done for today in the next video i'm probably gonna do the weapon uh, and start working on ICA system for the hands and chest and head and other stuff so thank you for watching please if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel uh, so you get notified when the ne when the next videos gets released